The CIAA tournament has made its way back to Baltimore for the second year and college universities and presidents and chancellors are here to talk to you, the students of Baltimore, about the importance of an HBCU education. Don't take debate about impossibility. What are limits? Impossibility is, is, the, is something that little minds uh, talk about. Dr. Christine Johnson McPhail, the 13th president of St. Augustine's University, sets the standard high as HBCU presidents and chancellors descend on Baltimore for the Central Intercollegiate Athletic Association Tournament. The games on the hardwood is where they leave the competition, but not that winning doesn't matter. But the true success, Dr. Brenda Allen, the president of Lincoln University says, comes from the next generation of leaders they recruit while in Charm City. 70% of all black judges went to an HBCU, 50% of all physicians and dentists, 25% of black people in STEM went to an HBCU. And so although we are small as a, as a part of the collective higher education, we tend to do the best when it comes to educating African Americans. A lawyer by trade, President Clarence Armbruster of Johnson C. Smith University says his priority is advancing the socioeconomic status of every student on his campus. If they want to move the needle in terms of the economic development, move in terms of generational wealth, it's really important to get your education. While prioritizing a safe space for men who look like him, so their only focus is excelling academically. We brought them in early as freshmen as a cohort to really try to get them to understand the importance of an education. <laughs> While historically black colleges and universities only account for about 3% of all higher education institutions in this country, nearly 20% of all African Americans who receive a degree graduate from the confines of institutions that always welcome their hue. So if you just really look at our success rate, um, it's almost a no-brainer that if you want to be successful, you want to be in a place where people will support you, where you can actually just pursue your dreams to the highest, um, an HBCU is the place to be. Reporting in Baltimore, Megan Rivers, WBAL-TV 11 News.